Thank you. Thank you. So here we have a mushroom and some So here we have a mushroom and some Um, being a fermented cassava juice. It's quite a lot in, um... So I'm just going to showcase your next course here for you. So here we have a mokeka. So a mokeka is a fish juice from Brazil. So just starting off with what we can see in the top there. So we'll start off with this. Hey guys, welcome. I want to leave it in a salt aid container for three days and then we gladly poach it in brown butter from this evening. Okay. On top of that is some pickled plantain as the disc. So I'll turn it into your fish stew now. So this has all that dende oil, uh, some of the fish heads, collars, and you see heads and claws, yep. tomatoes, and you can Just next to the turbo, we're going to have some beans. These are called, these are mantequilla. So mantequilla is a rare bean coming from the north of Brazil. Uh, through here, we're going to add like the belly or the scale, the fattier side of the fish itself, roasted okra, and then the herb is kenomi leaf. So I'm going to now come and add a crumb to you, known as farofa. Farofa translates to toasted flour. Flour from the cassava or the manioc. Yeah. Through here is Brazil nut and hen of the wood. Very typical of many like stews, fish and meat throughout the Brazilian culture itself. This caviar is from a company called N25, which is a company making caviar in Tibet, okay. very high altitude. Yep. And when this caviar has been made, they will send it to Germany, get aged during 12 weeks to develop all of the aroma from this caviar. Wow, okay. Very complex caviar. Yep. This baba will be finished with a cachaça consomme, which is made with some lime juice, some lime zest, some white vanilla also. And we finish it with a tiny bit of love and joy. This we make many the access of our pineapple, including the skin also. So we make.